In this video, I'll be discussing two of the new modules added to Multiphonic CV2 with the wave shaping update. They are the wave folder and the wave wrapper. Both are inspired with the West Coast Synthesis School and can be found in the shaper category. You can use them to create complex synth timbers or distort your audio in exciting ways. When we use most distortion effects, the signal is clipped at a certain threshold. This is what we see in the saturator module with soft and hard clipping at positive and negative extremes of minus 5 and plus 5 volts. In a wave folder, these limits act as mirrors that reflect the signal back creating folds. As we increase the input level, the signal gets folded multiple times. The shape of the wave and the resulting harmonics can be pretty intense, so the wave folder is usually used early in the signal path. Recommended sources are sine and triangle waves. Wave folding will not work on square or pulse waves. Processing complex sources can yield unpredictable results, but you are of course free to experiment. The main knob on the wave folder panel is the fold knob. It is actually a gain knob, from silence at minimum to times 20 gain at maximum. When it is set to times 1 gain, the signal is passed through normally. If you experience folding even then, check your gain staging. You can do that with the input and output level controls. You can also add bias to the input signal, which is a DC voltage offset. It will move the waveform up and down, so that folding occurs asymmetrically. This will produce a different sound. It also emulates the imperfections of the actual analog wave folder circuits for a more authentic sound. If we don't want DC bias to be passed to the wave folder's output, we should enable AC coupling. This is the way to go for audio, although you can leave it off when folding control voltages. You can choose from three different topologies. Parallel, Series and Digital. Parallel is an analog wave folder inspired by Don Buchla's parallel design. There are five folding stages at different thresholds mixed together with the input signal at different levels. After the maximum number of folds have been reached, the signal continues to rise until it's saturated at plus minus 10 volts. Series is also an analog wave folder emulation with six identical stages in series. Again, after the maximum number of folds have been reached, the signal increases in amplitude until it's saturated at plus minus 10 volts. Digital is a mathematically perfect wave folder. Here, there is no limit on the maximum number of folds, so the signal will keep folding indefinitely. Although, as gain is increased, it might quickly produce aliasing artifacts. This is something you might or might not want. To limit these in any topology, use the high quality mode. Although for high pitched or bright signals, some aliasing might still occur. The output of the wave folder can be pretty rich and intense. If we require a more mellow sound, we can use the smooth knob. Its effects are different for each topology, but in general you can think of it like a low pass filter reducing the brightness of the output. At low fault settings, all topologies sound quite similar. Their nature becomes more apparent as you increase the fault setting or use other settings. Now let's apply wave folding to an electric bass recording. This is a factory patch, deep fold, and we have two microscope panels visualizing the wave before and after folding. Notice how this peak will become folded as I increase the folding amount. Now let's apply some bias for a different timbre. We can now use smoothing and the tone becomes more mellow. We've came up with a pretty aggressive timbre. We can use the driver control to just add this to the original recording.
Now we have added just a little bit of an edge to the base. Now let's talk about the Wave Wrapper. The Wave Wrapper is another West Coast inspired module providing aggressive sounds. Its controls might seem similar to a Wave Folder, but the working principle is a bit different. The wrap is the circuit's gain. In half wrapping mode, the signal that would exceed the plus 5 volt threshold appears back at the 0 volt line. This jump creates a very steep wave slope, thus introducing a lot of harmonics. Effects of wave wrapping can sound a bit like oscillator heart sync. As we increase the gain, the signal can be wrapped like this multiple times. This can create some pretty wild sonic results. This gets even more extreme in full wrapping mode. Now the signal exceeding the plus 5 volt threshold will appear all the way down at minus 5 volt line. Again, this will not work for square or pulse waves. As with wave folding, the sources to try are sine and triangle waves. Similar to analog wave folder topologies discussed before, there are 6 wrapping stages. After these wraps, saturation occurs at plus minus 10 volts. As previously, bias allows for asymmetrical wrapping. We also have the familiar AC coupling to remove the DC offset and high quality mode that reduces the aliasing artifacts. Again, the produced timbre can be mellowed out using the tone control. Let's create a simple synthesizer patch where we use the wave wrapper to obtain a complex timbre from a simple sine wave. Let's use the classic VCO and run it into the wave wrapper from the sine wave output. The pitch of the classic VCO will be controlled from the keyboard and we'll be visualizing the resulting wave with a microscope. We don't hear it yet because we need a VCA that's controlled with an ADSR envelope that's gated from the keyboard and the sound passed onto the output. Now let's turn this simple sine wave into a wrapped sine wave. So the timbre got pretty intense pretty quickly. Let's play with the bias and with the tone control so we don't have to add a separate low pass filter to tame the sound. Now let's control the wrapping amount with the mod wheel for a hard sync like effect. and finish off with some effects.